the coolest thing about perspective is that it takes whoever's looking at an image and it puts them in the image, in the space with all the boxes that you're drawing. And the way that it does that is through point of view or eye level. And the point of view is variable. And the way that you locate it is by just imagining where you are in the space and creating the space around where you are. So my drawing teacher, he used to say that stand wherever you are, rip out your eyeballs, throw them in a direct line, and wherever they splatter on the wall is where your vanishing point and horizon line are. Um, Will Weston used to say you take your eyeball and you can move that anywhere around, right? You can move the eyeball up, you can move the eyeball down, and wherever that eyeball looks is where you can sort of place your, your camera, as it were. What we do is we create a horizon line. And we put our vanishing point in. And wherever we want to cut off that box is um, sort of where that determines. And we can create the feel of uh, sitting, standing, being up on a ladder, being up on another building, depending on how we do this. So if we do something like this, make sure we hit that. We're creating this feel like we're either sitting down or maybe laying down on the ground, right? because this building feels very tall, there's a lot more of it above the horizon line. If we come over here, do this diagram again, and we split more, something more like this. This right here is gonna feel more like we're standing up, walking down the street, and we're going by this building, right? Do this again. And we cut off maybe towards the top. This is going to feel like we're looking out from inside another building, or maybe we're up on a ladder, or you know, there's a hill involved, or something that elevates us, right? And even more extreme, if we're on another taller building, you know, it might look something more like this. We're here. It's pretty obvious that we are looking down on this building, right? If we add in, you know, a street with lane markings, it's really gonna look like we're looking down on this building from, from above. As far as composing with this point of view, uh, how to put this on a page, this is really just a decision and that's what we'll look at next.